Hey, what's going on guys? Dan with Barrel Blades and Barbells. Today, I wanna to kinda of do a quick follow-up video um, on the uh, CZ Scorpion. So, as you can see, it's back here behind me, but the trigger pack is in my hand. So, um, if you watched my couple of my other videos, I did some Strike Industries updates. Um, the uh, mag release, the selector switches, uh, the... Um, charging handle and the pistol grip itself so i swapped all those parts out but later on they came out with an updated version so this here is what the old stock or the updated selector switch looks like the the standard one that they came out with and this is what their new extended one looks like um so they install the same way if you see my previous video basically you just put it on fire there's a a hole right there you set the or put the allen wrench down in there crank it out pull the old one off put the new one on put the set screw back in crank it down tight super simple to install um just as a fair warning if you do swap this out if you look right see if i can get the lighting right see that bar right there if by chance you push it out the the bar that is actually going left to right the actual selector switch if you accidentally push it out and it feels funny it's not in the position right Take both sides off, pull up on that select or on that that bar that's on the. It's if you're holding the weapon, it's on the right hand side. There's a little bar there. You can actually kind of lift it up just a little bit, spring loaded. It's actually the detent that holds it, uh, allows it to stay one side or the other, you know, safe or semi. So you pull it up just a little bit, slide it back in. I knocked mine out on accident. That's how I know this, but uh, nothing nothing too hard to fix, but. Uh, yeah, the selector switch. So the problem that I was running into with the old one is I could go on to fire, but because of where your thumb is positioned, going back to safe, it was like, it was really, really hard. I can get it on fire, but when I tried to go back to safe, I couldn't do it. I'd have to like literally flip my hand onto the other side. I didn't really like that. So I see they came out with this new extended one and it's super simple, like fire, safe, it's, it's right there. So, um, Yes, it does use your trigger finger. Now, the one cool thing about it is it comes with this extension on both sides. So I opted to put the extended one on my trigger finger side and I left the um, the standard advanced one, I think is what they call it, on the uh, on my thumb side because I can still I can still hit the, the safe to or a safe to semi with my thumb because if I'm engaging, I'll use my thumb, keep my trigger finger to not on the trigger, but you know, close to the trigger so I can engage. But obviously if you're going from semi to safe, your finger doesn't need to be anywhere near the trigger, shouldn't be anywhere near the trigger. So for that, it's nice to be able to have that. Plus, like I said, I couldn't get it to go to safe. So um, really, really glad they came out with it. Super cheap, I think it was like 15 bucks. So very easy install. Um, yeah, nice product. They got some more stuff coming out. Um, hopefully here soon, I'll be getting some notification that uh, the um, foregrip fore is gonna be coming out, the handguard for that. So that will be getting updated as well as maybe a buttstock or not buttstock, but the uh, uh, pistol brace for this thing. So hopefully uh, hopefully that's coming. Strike Industries, where you at guys? So. Um, overall, really, really nice design. I really like it. It's way huge improvement from stock. Stock sucks so bad on this thing. But uh, hope you guys liked the video. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. If you got questions, by all means, put them in the comments. I try to answer every question everybody posts. So yeah, so uh, you guys stay tuned and stay tactical.